Hey guys, welcome back. We are on our weekly Ants Team live training. I am um, kind of just settling in. Um, busy day, which is good. Um, we've got a lot to share and I am always excited to be here talking to you guys. Um, but as you know, get started in the chat box below or from Maximize the chat box to the left. Let's get started with our wins for the week. The things that you're celebrating, the things that um, you've accomplished within the last week, all the things that you've put towards your business that you've been working on. This is the place. Now is the time for you to share. So I hope you guys had an awesome week. I hope you guys are um, excited for the upcoming week and the upcoming things that we, we're um, working on. I believe now you guys are getting started with campaign 12. Those of you who are in RPS 1, 2, 3, and 4, I see some orders going in this week. So <laughs> we're also wrapping up with campaign 11. So we also have some um, orders going in. So I know you guys are working on building your orders and um, increasing your customers. So I um, first let me turn off all the alerts so that we can chat. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you guys had a really great Mother's Day. This weekend, I feel like May is the unofficial start to the summer because there's so many events starting with Mother's Day. So um, this past weekend was Mother's Day. I want to give a shout out to all the moms, to all the adopted moms, to all the um, sisters who come in like moms. Um, our Avon family is kind of cool like that because we're not really related, but we have like extended family. Um, I don't know how you guys do it, but on our, our team, we kind of joke that um, the people, for example, that I've recruited are like the daughters, even though most of them are older than I am. I think I'm the youngest on the team, oddly enough, but they joke and call me grandma. <laughs> so at first I was like, uh, but uh, kind of grew on me. So it's nice to kind of have that sisterhood of Avon representatives, but it also um, the people that we look to for training and encouragement and support are kind of like our adopted mom. So it's it's a nice um, atmosphere. And the people that we work with, I have so many Avon moms. So um, it's, it's nice to celebrate and honor and um, recognize those people. So I hope you guys had an amazing Saturday um, and Sunday and a nice weekend. I know people are doing brunch and doing um different little um get togethers a lot of times you visit the mom a lot of people are traveling and um i like seeing that a lot of you guys were sharing your business as you were going about your um your events so um i saw a lot of mother's day baskets going on on the websites um i saw you guys sharing on facebook and social media all the baskets that you're making to promote your business um i saw gifts um the gifts that you guys prepared for your moms and if your moms are like my mom they wanted avon <laughs> so that was cool to see um let me see all right so um what else has happened this weekend um it's kind of just kind of flying by we're preparing for another event this coming weekend um we actually have two events for our team this week so it's going to be a jam-packed week and we're preparing so um i saw a couple of you guys with different events different sales um different mother's day basket sales events get togethers um i saw representatives who were going around and doing charity events for mother's day and i thought that was awesome next year i'm hoping to get on that um but it was it was a nice weekend and i think that it's always good to see personally i like to see the community events because i think it's um wonderful that with our small businesses we can still have a large impact on the community um we're a business just like every other business so it's nice to get plugged in get um involved um in our communities and our neighborhoods and in all that we are well, in all that we're surrounded in. Sorry, my video just said it can't play. Um, I see that there are a couple of you on, but it won't tell me who. <laughs> Technology. Um, hey, Miss Anitra, Miss Renee. Um, I see, and three others, but it won't tell me which the others. Anyway, so while you guys are logging in and we're building an audience, um, be sure to share your wins for the week in the chat box so that we can celebrate with you. We had some big celebration last week, some um, team accomplishments. A lot of you guys are still doing the President's Recognition Program celebrations. Um, and for those of you who aren't or who weren't 
attending the President's Recognition Program events this year, be sure to plan and track for next year's events. Set a goal of $10,000 for your first year. That's all that you need to get to President's Club, and it's a nice starter for new representatives. It averages about to 334 yeah, about $340 um, per campaign. So it's like working with, I think, what, 20 customers? Uh, let's see. My Wi-Fi is down, that's why. So if we're looking at, I always talk about working backwards. So if you have a sales goal of $10,000 $10, for the year, divide that by 26. That gives you about $384 and some change per campaign. Um, so if I used to, I like to use $25 as the average customer order. So you're looking at say like 15 to 20, 10 to 20 um, customers per campaign. And it's a good way for you to build your customer base. Um, if you're starting to see consistently two to three hundred dollars per campaign. I actually like to aim for three to five hundred dollars per campaign because a five hundred dollar order gives you about forty percent commission so that's an extra two hundred dollars in your pocket just from your sales. So it's a great base, great way to start if you're a new representative. That's um, a really great goal. A lot of times um, representatives sort of um, are always asking you know where do I start, what goals do I set, and I always say, you know, start with your goals because those are the ones that are going to mean the most to you and those are the ones that are going to drive you. But um, if you don't really um, know, a lot of people say they're getting started with the business. They don't know what's a realistic goal. I think that that, you know, three to five hundred dollars is a nice place to start. But um, don't let the idea of realistic goals hinder you because realistic for one person um, may not be realistic for someone else and what one person what I always see is that a person considers something as realistic and I'm kind of like you can do better than that come on you know just just step it up a little bit I think sometimes we use the word realistic to um, take ourselves not on purpose but it takes us out of the running for the bigger things because we're like oh it's realistic to only have a $50 order because I don't know anybody but there are people who are starting out with $400 orders so um, that's realistic. And there are people who are starting out with $2,000 orders each can campaign, and that's realistic for them. So, you know, trying to find what's realistic for you. Um, and it's gonna be different for everyone, but I think three to 500 is a nice place to start. You will track for your President's Recognition Program. You will be invited to the incentive. And for the following year, you will get 40% on all order orders, regardless of their size, plus be able to order three or more, um, depending on your level, three items from the What's New book if you're a President's Club, I think five items if you're Honor Society, and it increases um, from there. So it's a great place to start um, getting your feet wet and um, setting up your earnings so that you're maximizing your earnings in the business, because we're all here to make money, right? Um, <laughs> all right, I see some things rolling in. All right, Miss Renee says she had her Avon PRP Gala today, and she earned the Spirit of Avon Award for number one in on oh and number one in online sales and number two in district for sales increase. So congratulations to Miss Renee, three awesome achievements. Congratulations to you, girl, working it. So again, last week I think we were talking about Jessica M, the awards that she received for sales increase. Here's another representative with sales increase. Um, online sales and district sales increase. So again, for the people who are saying, oh, you can't make money, nobody wants to buy, no one wants to sell, blah, blah, blah. There are people who want to buy, there are people who want to join and sell and build successful businesses. It's up to us to get out there and meet those people and kick all the naysayers out of our business because they have nothing to contribute. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so, um, Let's see, what else are we working on to celebrate? Oh, RepFest. I haven't spoken about RepFest in a while, but we are getting closer and closer to August. And RepFest is our National Avon Conference. That's where Avon representatives from all over the U.S. converge on one area. We have like five to 10,000 representatives in one place at one time. I think as of, I think I saw it last week, we were at about 6,000 representatives who will be in Nashville, Tennessee. So that is exciting. 
RepFest is an awesome opportunity for you to connect with other representatives, to learn, to grow, to hear about um, the new products that are coming up. We have the Avon Wellness line that's going to be um, introduced coming in the fall. So that's a whole new product line that we'll be able to share with our customers to grow our, com our customer bases and um, you know help our customers just find the products that they're looking for all in one place. So it's going to be a great opportunity for you to learn about the new products, to get training ahead of time, test out the products for yourself ahead of time, get samples and um, information so that you can share and educate your customers before the products actually launch. So it's going to be great for you. And I always say that I really love the networking aspect of it, the fact that you'll be able to connect with other representatives who are just like you, who are building their businesses from scratch and building successful teams from scratch. You get to share ideas and um, motivate each other. So I want to encourage you guys, it's not too late to register for RepFest. Avon has an intensive going on. I had the flyer here. Hang on. Okay. Um, Avon has this new incentive I mentioned it last week where you can earn freebies at RepFest so you can earn um, a RepFest cowboy hat if you place an, a $300 order in all three campaigns 10 11 and 12 um, you can earn the wall country 50th anniversary VIP party VIP party <laughs> featuring a special edition of the legendary men's fragrance um, if you have the $300 in three orders plus a recruit a qualified new recruit and then you can earn the free two night hotel stay if you have three qualified new recruits and three $300 orders in campaign 10 11 and 12 so check your orders and see if you're tracking if you are having sales of $300, again, it puts you on track for President's Recognition Program. Set a goal so that you're working towards that. Plus, you can earn all of these awesome incentives and prizes. On top of this, as a representative, you get the commission off of your sales. So by increasing your sales, you're getting a bigger commission. But by recruiting and building your team and referring a friend, a family member, a coworker, or whatever, there are also different bonuses that Avon has that um, you know, there are $50 bonuses for new representatives, $20 bonuses for existing representatives, um, representatives by existing, I mean, who have been around for over six campaigns. Um, these are opportunities for you to increase your earnings. So don't sleep on them. Take advantage of them because these are ways that you can really maximize your earnings. And that was actually my win for the week. Um, one of the things that I want to share with you guys was um, with all of these incentives, I've been trying to track for them. As you guys know, I shared a few weeks ago, I was able to earn the, as a matter of fact, it started off with the um, Boss Beauty Boss necklaces. Um, I think that was the first incentive that Avon really had this year that I was going for. And they gave us some sales goals that we were working towards. So that really encouraged me to ramp up my sales and take some steps, which I'll be sharing with you later on in this video, to, and that I was sharing actually in last week's video. But, um, to take some steps to increase my sales. And then came around the um, Vacation Like a Boss incentive, which was the trip to Bahamas, which I shared that I was able to earn two tickets to, um, I, probably in the last call or the call before that. So um, that really encouraged me to watch my sales and start tracking for these incentives. Um, and I was talking to Milagros today, and I was sharing with her how um, just going for these incentives. Whenever there's an incentive, I try to go for it. And I even say to myself sometimes, you know, I set my goal to surpass whatever the incentive is. But, you know, my goal is, of course, to meet it. But even if you don't, the the time that you put into building your business, it doesn't go to waste because the whatever you whatever your sales increases, increases whatever um, your team increase is, whatever it is, it goes towards your business. So you're building your business at the same time. All of these Avon incentives are tailored to encourage you to build your business. It's not something separate. It's not just like, oh, you know, Avon is having an incentive. Let me switch and do that. No, you're still working your business. You're working in tandem. So by doing the things that you need to do to grow your business, it's also helping you to um, reach the incentives. And a lot of these incentives, they kind of push you a little bit further than your um, 
your normal well it pushes me some people find it really easy and it's just like a cakewalk but for me I find it it pushes me and encourages me to get out of my comfort zone and just stretch myself a little further and um, I was talking with Milagros earlier today and I was sharing that um, working on these incentives, the, um, the ticket to boss life, the Avon Beauty boss necklaces, and now the incentive to earn the free hotel stay for um, Rep Fest in Nashville, Tennessee. I've, in reaching, those, in reaching for those incentives, I've started to see an increase in my personal sales and in, in my, um, my team size. So these are long lasting benefits that will, you know, continue to um, to be a part of my life well beyond the date of the incentive. Now, don't get me wrong. That Bahamas trip is definitely going into my, I don't know, Avon trip of a lifetime <laughs> booklet, my little photo album. So it's definitely a, a, a lifetime bucket list type of activity. So it will have long lasting effects and benefits. But the things that I did to earn that incentive are things that will help me grow my business and that have helped me grow my business. Um, and I really started to see a, a change in um, my team growth and my um, for the other ladies who are participating in the incentive, I've also seen a, a change in their growth and their success. So I love seeing when all of us are growing together because it's, it's a team effort. So I, I really love that. And I want to just encourage those of you who are out there who maybe when you see these incentives, you're like I was when I first joined Avon and I kind of put it in my head that those incentives weren't for me, um, that I wasn't a top seller, that I wasn't a top recruiter, or blah, blah, blah. But I wasn't at the time, but I have become better at these things by trying to achieve these incentives. So do not take yourself out of the running for these incentives because they're an opportunity for you to grow your business. Um, they're an opportunity for you to learn and stretch yourself and develop as a business person and a business leader. These are just um, additional um, benefits for growing your business. Don't sleep on them. Don't dis take yourself out of the running for them. Don't ignore them and um, try for them as much as you can. Um, there's no losing when you do them. It's like um, training for a race. The exercise that you get will benefit your health and will have long lasting effects. It's the same thing when you're um, running for these incentives. So um, let's see what we have going on in the chat. <laughs> All right, so hey, Anitra, welcome. Um, I don't know why it's freezing. It's actually freezing on my phone too, but for some reason on my computer, it's fine. Um, so I don't know if it's the network connection or if it's just Facebook, because my phone is coming in and out, but my computer has been streaming consistently. So let me know what you guys are experiencing. I've been connected to the ethernet, so we should have a great connection, but um, let me know. Um, let's see. Yep, definitely see the lag. Um, but that could also be because my battery's dying. <laughs> All right. So while you guys get started with your um, wins for the week and you continue to share, like Miss Renee, all the amazing things that are happening to you in your business, then let us get going with today's um, topic of discussion. So um, as I mentioned, our team has been growing a lot. So um, I am a national recruiter and trainer. So I do work with a lot of new representatives to help them get started successfully on their journey as new representatives. Um, so lately I've been, we've been going through a lot of the, the getting started new rep type of information. And I always get excited about this. And I think working with new reps is one of the things that I love the most because um, First and foremost, just the excitement of knowing that you're helping someone else to accomplish your dreams and goals. To know um, where you were when you started and how far you've come in your business and to know that you could um, impart your knowledge on someone else to help them also come up in the business. I love working with and empowering women. That's also, that's kind of been one of um, my motivating forces in life, empowering others, be it youth, but especially empowering women. So I love 
working with new representatives and helping them get, get started. But I also like it because it it forces me to get back in the mindset of a new representative. Um, and it's always funny because when we're when we're working with new reps, the thing that I hear the most is, "Okay, I have a stupid question," <laughs> and they proceed to ask the question. But it's usually, I don't think maybe. 0.05% of the questions are something that I would say like, okay, yeah, no, that's dumb, but <laughs> very rarely. And you know, we always say that there are no stupid questions, but um, we, we encourage people to ask questions because that's how you learn and that's how you grow. And a lot of times when I'm hearing the questions, it causes me to sort of take a step back and say, okay, wait, what is this new rep looking at? Um, for her as a person who's looking at this thing with fresh eyes, what is she seeing? What is he or she saying? As a, a new rep, what is he or she seeing? Um, what are they not seeing? Because when you've been with the company for a while, you sort of know how things work. You could, like, I could walk a customer, well, I could work, walk uh, either a customer through placing their order online without being at a computer, and I could work a rep walk a representative through um, online registration, placing their order, setting up their website, and all of that with my eyes closed because we've done it so many times. But for a person who's just getting started, it's all new and it's all fresh. So um, a lot of the questions kind of get me to step out of where I am in the business and kind of step into the new representative's point of view. And Sometimes I'll see things with fresh eyes. Sometimes by explaining it to someone else, it's like I'm retraining myself. Sometimes just by talking about it and rehashing it two or three times, every time I do it, it, it gets a little bit better every time I speak about it. So for, say, Denisha, which is the first rep that I've, I've signed up, when I first did an appointment with her, it was, you know, bumpy and clunky and, and, you know, not smooth at all, not refined at all, had no public speaking skills. I was just learning the business. It was my first appointment, things like that. Um, but it was okay because she was my friend. Um, and now, as I go through, I mean, I, I still find myself learning, but there are still things that I could, you know, sort of walk through with blindfolds on but um I, I started to really think about um things that new representatives are experiencing and first i want to encourage everyone whether you're a leader or um a sales representative um whether you're new or whether you've been with the company for a long time i encourage you to um try to partner with another person i always recommend people refer a friend or someone to the company because First and foremost, you're paying it forward. You're extending the education and the benefits and the opportunities that you as a representative have into the life of someone else. So you're you're passing on a blessing, so to speak. But secondly, because when you're working with that new person, you'll start to see things differently. And in teaching them, you'll actually go back and rehash a lot of things that you were never familiar with. Um, maybe things have changed since you used to do them last. And I find myself always refining my process because as I'm explaining to other people, I want them to be able to understand it. I want it to be as clean and as easy to understand as possible. So every time I, I talk to a new rep, it gets hopefully <laughs> better and better and easier and easier to understand, but also refines my process. So when I, I teach someone else, I'm learning myself and I'm also refining for myself. So Regardless of how long you've been in the business, I encourage you to connect with someone else and get in the habit of going through that teaching process with someone else. Um, I know it can be scary to um, to imagine teaching another person because you might feel like you don't want to mess up, you don't want to give the wrong information. These are all things that I hear often, but there's so much information out there and you can never know all of it just by imparting what you know, the knowledge that you have, um, the experience of going through the things that you've gone through, that is enough to help someone else along the road. Um, and there will be um, things that you both will learn from each other, so don't feel like you have to have all the answers. But um, I want to share some of the things that um, I've sort of been re-realizing <laughs> as I've gone through new representative training. Um, Kathleen says, same here. She likes to help new reps as well. Um, so, um, so one of the things that I am working on, um, a lot of times when people join, they ask, okay, what do I do now? What do I do to get started, to launch my business? Um, where do I start? What do, what should I do first? There's a lot of information. There's, um, 
Avon University, they're the um, Avon USA representatives websites. Um, our team has our own Boss Ladies website with references and resources. Um, there are YouTube videos, so many videos by so many representatives. There's a wealth of information online and a lot of times people are like, okay, what do I just do first? <laughs> and to be honest, there's no right answer to that because everyone does things differently and everyone will do it according to how they work. Some representatives want to gather as much information as they can so they get in and they they go through all the websites, they get in and they watch all the playlists. Some people learn by doing so they get their kit, they start talking to people and they figure out what they're saying and what they're doing as they go. For me what I like to um, share is the most important thing is to just get started. Um, a few months ago now wow we've been doing this call for five or six months um and i'm still saying call instead of live stream <laughs> but um a while back we talked about the concept of ready set aim 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 and then there was no fire so i always like to encourage people to partner getting um in their education and learning about the business and the company with getting out there and talking to people because I do feel that you learn better from doing both because in being out there and talking to people you'll sort of get an idea of what information you need to learn and research and then you could go back and learn and research that information and by looking through the website and browsing around I always say you cannot break your avon.com it's unbreakable just go in and click stuff you'll be fine you'll pick up on things so that when you're out in the field and you're talking to people you'll remember oh you know i did see a size chart for the ring somewhere let me go back and look at that or i did see a, a video that was talking about the new products that are coming out um and i did pick up some tips from other representatives on what to say when talking about those new products so that when you're out in the field and you're talking to people you can get that experience but um it is important to to sort of do both you have to be working the business. In the field, the brochures need to get out to people. You do need to be building your customer list and your um, your who do you know list, but you also need to find um, the different resources and work on knowing the business. It's So I guess my first tip, tip is to be to get plugged in and start doing a little bit of both, but you do wanna know the business. You wanna know the policies and procedures. Um, I get really sad when a representative gets started, goes out, orders business cards, and then realizes that they have a website. <laughs> and it's sad now because they have 500 business cards with, without a website on it. But if they, you know, did some research and training and realized that that website is something that they could put on their brochures and their business cards, they would have been prepared to, you know, have their business cards. Um, maybe they went out to an expensive business card company and didn't realize that Avon has partnerships with town and country or that there are other websites online where they can order brochure um, business cards at a great price but they could have seen that by po poking around the website so there are little things like that um, and then sometimes when I'm talking to existing representatives representatives who have been around for a while I actually lately I've been hearing a lot of the same questions from new representatives as representatives who've been a while around for a while but who haven't been as plugged in um, they've kind of separated themselves from the new things that are happening so you constantly need to put yourself in a position to receive information um, Avon University the Avon USA representatives page the district meetings the division meet meetings the rallies Avon rep fest um, all the webinars that Avon has online these are free resources for you to take advantage of to grow your business now I know a lot of you are like me who are working full-time or part-time um, but what I like about this business is that you can actually watch and learn a lot of this stuff in your free time. When I was starting, I was a student in school, so I would watch a lot of the videos in Avon University and online, sometimes 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. While I'm working on my models, I would have an Avon video playing in the background. So even now, even today, having been in the business for a while, um, having been in a position where I'm teaching and training new representatives, I still go back and watch the new stuff. Sometimes. I'll go back and watch a video that I watched before just to remind myself of the details um, of the business. And these will be things that 
not just help you when you're training new representatives, but will help you refine and revise the way you're doing things. Um, I recently just updated the way I process my orders just to make it easier for myself, but it came from sharing and brainstorming some ideas with the new representative and looking at the tools that Avon, that youravon.com has available. So keep an eye on those things, uh, the new things, the new videos, the new products, the new information that that Avon is putting out there because that's a resource for us. And of course, it's up to us to educate ourselves on what's new and what's happening so that we could stay ahead of the field and that we can properly, properly educate our customers. But on the flip side, be out there and be pre present, be in the community, um, talking to people, sharing your experiences because that knowledge and information that you gather when you do the trainings, they're there to benefit others. So if you hoard all this knowledge and you, you've read every book, you've watched every training, um, you know about all the new products, but you don't share that with people, then it's kind of at a loss. You want to um, apply the information that you've learned to, to others when you're out in the field. So what does that look like? When you're um, talking to people, a lot of times um, I'll talk to people and I like to ask um, what their favorite product is, what products they use, um, things like what do they do in their free time, um, what do they do for a living, how does that look, you know, with their family life. A lot of people nowadays are working two or three jobs. They don't have time to pamper themselves or, you know, relax and have the spa days. But in hearing about their experiences and hearing about their needs, asking a lot of questions, a lot of times I could say, oh, you know, I have a product that I use that, um, I don't know, for example, the other day we were talking about hair care. Me and a few girls were talking about products that we use in our hair, and a lot of us don't have the time to go to the salon and sit for 45 minutes for a deep condition, do the wash and set and blow out. So a lot of us have taken to taking care of our hair ourselves. And I was sharing some of the things that I do with my hair I'm lazy, I do the overnight deep treatment, I put in the conditioner, I put a plastic cap on it and I go to sleep, no time to sit under the dryer for 45 minutes, I get up, I wash and I style. And I was sharing some of the products that I use to strengthen my hair and do that, um, do that overnight treatment. So just in conversation, the things that I learned from, in this case, using the products myself, were things that I could um, share with others. And I'm always surprised because there are a lot of people out there who don't, even though there are so many resources online, there are so many products in the stores, a lot of people are afraid to um, try new products. They don't know what to use because there are so many products out there. So it's nice to have an idea of what products are used for different things so that you can use that when you're speaking to people. Um, people will always come to me and say, okay, I have dark circles, what do I use? Um, I'm starting to wrinkle, I burn in the sun, I my hair is thinning or falling out, and um, my skin is dry in the winter, different things, and I'm able to say, okay, you could try this product, you could try this product. If your skin is oily, then you could do this product, but if your skin is normal, except during this weather, then you could do, use this product. But it comes from just having that knowledge and talking to people because I don't just um, tell people what to use I also like to get feedback which I guess would be my next tip when you're out there talking to people you don't want it to be a one-way conversation like this where I'm just here as a talking head talking to you guys you want it to be a two-way conversation if anything you want to let the people you're talking to do more talking than you are. They, what is it they say? You've got two ears for a reason and one mouth. Two ears and one mouth for a reason. You're supposed to listen twice as much as you speak. Something like that is how things work in the field. So I like to, um, like I said earlier, ask a lot of questions and speak to a lot of people about different things. Now, not every person is a customer, but I will tell you, I learned just as much from the people who are not using the products as the people using Avon products as the people who are, because I could see okay, well, why are you using that product as opposed to Avon? Why are you more comfortable spending two, three, four times the price on this item more so than Avon? And I'll be honest, a lot of times I find it's just because of the brand name. <laughs> brand whores. They just <laughs> bought in to the product name. And But I found that by talking to them and asking questions. You know, why do you like this? Have you tried this? Have you tried other products? 
Sometimes it's just like, yeah, it's something that my mom and her grandma has always used. So I use the same thing. Why? I don't know. It's just what we do. And, you know, I hear a lot of that, but it's helped me in my business and it's helped me in training my team because a lot of times people might come back and say, oh, you know, nobody wants to buy that. People just want to buy this company or that brand. And I'm just like, well, sometimes it's not a matter of, oh, they just want to buy this company or this brand. Sometimes it's a matter of they haven't tried other products. They don't know what other companies are offering or they're afraid to try other products because you know this is an item that they've just used for however many years so for example the other day i had a customer who swore by a particular product she was like this is the item she uses this is what she's always used it, it just is what it is and i talked to her about it and you know we just had conversation um and you know she was saying why she loves it and what it does for her skin but there was a a price issue she didn't mind spending the extra money on it but you could kind of tell it was like yeah it's pricey mm. but I spend it because it's what I use so after figuring out um, just through conversation what um, what benefits she was looking for in the products and what her skin type was I just shared a, an Avon sample with her not even so much to say you know here's something better by this I wanted to reward her with some, you know, free samples. That's me. I, I give samples. It's what I do. I just wanted to give her a couple of free samples. And I was like, oh, you know, this is something that she might like. It's sort of like what she's using now. Gave her the new sample. She loved it. She saw better results with the sample that I gave her. And she made a switch. But it came from, not from me, like, oh, don't use that product. It's not good for you. You know, that you're, you're wasting money. It came from, oh, okay, well, this is what you need. We kind of have that. You could try it if you want to. If you don't like it, it's okay, but at least try it and see for yourself. She could have made the, the decision at that point to say, okay, well, I don't want to use this thing. I already have something that would have been fine. But because there was that underlying issue with the price, she was more than happy to buy something from Avon that did better at a third of the cost. So um, when you're out there, talk to people, ask questions. Sometimes you're not going to get a sale from that person, but the information that you receive is invaluable. Maybe later on you'll be able to apply the information you've heard from that person to someone else to compare. Um, I have a lot of friends who will tell me that a particular makeup brand makes their skin break out. So when I talk to other people, the other day it was the bizarrest thing I was talking to someone and they were like yeah I use such and such and I was like oh you know a friend was telling me it makes her skin itch and the girl was like yeah it makes my skin my skin itch too but I don't know what else to use and I was just like all right I got a product try this see if you like it but if I didn't say that you know I've, I know people with this issue she wouldn't have told me because you know it's just something that you wouldn't have shared otherwise so talk to people have it be a two-way conversation um, so getting to, I am seeing weird things. Okay. So getting to our, um, new things. So, um, a lot of the things that we recommend to new representatives, I also recommend that existing representatives go back to and get, um, reacquainted with. So there are a few things that I want to share with you guys that I want to encourage you to get back into the habit of working on. The first thing is building your customer base. When we get started as new representatives, we usually start with a who do you know list, a list of people we know that we're going to reach out to with a brochure, a text message, or a link to the website via email. And sometimes for like whatever reason, as we go about building our business, we don't come back and continue to build our customer base. I want to encourage people to do that. I am constantly, like I said, talking to people. And when I talk to people, I make contacts. We exchange business cards. I exchange addresses, phone numbers, and emails. I add those people into a customer database. And I have a list of all the people <laughs> that I've spoken to. If um, you know we've made connection and exchange information for the business, I really try to add the information into that database. And I have had people who I've met three, four years ago after, you know, adding them to my mailing list, um, adding them to an email list, just constantly um, staying in touch with them. I've had them come back because they remember me. They remember that what I do um, and they've ordered products. So we should always be building our who do you know list, building our customer base, 
getting out there and connecting with other people and um, introducing them to what we do and staying in contact with them. I love that we have Facebook, um, LinkedIn, um, what's that other one? Personally, I really like Instagram. Um, I don't know, visual learner. I just like to connect on Instagram. But um, fortunately for us, we don't have to have a Rolodex with a billion business cards. We can also connect with people on social media. So there, there's a variety of ways for you to connect with people and stay in touch with people. So I like to connect with people as I meet them, um, be it on Facebook, LinkedIn, or um, YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, mm, for staying in touch, not so much, but other social media networks. I think there are the ones like um, Snapchat that you can stay in touch with as well. But um, again, keep growing that list. Keep Make it a habit to go out and connect with new people. Set a goal for how many new contacts you want to make each day or each week, whether you're a new rep or a rep who has been around for a while because you always want your customer base to be growing. We always say not everyone is going to order every campaign. And if you had a restaurant or a laundromat, you wouldn't be expecting your same three family members to support your business for your rest of your life. It's the same thing with your business. You want to constantly be getting to know other people. So work on your who you know list um, and use referrals. So as you talk to people, ask them if they know of someone else. Ask them to refer you to a friend. Run incentives to um, encourage your customers to help you out with referrals so that you could keep growing your list as well. Um, another thing that we encourage new representatives to do when they're first getting started, like we said earlier, is the training. So keep getting plugged in, keep doing your trainings, watch out for new um, tutorials, workshops, webinars, classes, and um, events in your area. But on the flip side of that, if there are no local events, don't let that discourage you. We're living in a day and age where with social media, I could watch Molly Bibb, Milagros Garcia, um, Ivana in California. I could watch representatives from all over the US and gain ideas from all of them. So use your social media as a tool. Again, don't just sit and watch YouTube videos all day. Apply it when you're out in the field, but leverage the, the videos and the trainings, the workshops, the webinars, the Facebook lives that we have all across the country so that you could constantly um, learn and grow. Um, even like we have the way we have our little chats in the comment box below, it's a great way for you to connect with other representatives and just kind of, you know, make other friends. I can't tell you how many people I've met through um, Facebook and our online discussions that have allowed us to um, build relationships when we meet in person at the Avon conferences and, you know, in-person networking events. So don't let the fact, you know, if you're in an area that's not close to an event, don't let that bog you down. Don't let that keep you from excelling because there are so many other sources of information out there and so many other ways for you to connect on, um, on a personal level without physically being in the same space. Um, the next thing that I would recommend that you do as a new representative um, is, I had a list and I got thrown off. <laughs> I'm watching the comments come in. But um, work on your Who Do You Know list, get out and talk to people, do your trainings and your workshops. Um, boy, just total blank out. <laughs> Um, there was a representative I was talking to the other, the other day, same question, what do I do, where do I start? Um, and I was sharing the information about getting started, building the who you know list, and getting plugged in, and she had some questions regarding running a business. Um, one of the things I like about this business is that it's a business, it's like very much like any other business, so um, on top of the resources that you have when you're, you know, looking at Avon University and Avon USA reps and other representatives is the other um, companies, other direct sales leaders, um, other business management tools, Entrepreneur, Forbes, um, Wall Street Journal, um, there's Forbes for Women. Um, there's so many business centered resources, uh, YouTube for videos by Darren Hardy, um, Les Brown. Uh, Tony Robbins, um, all of these motivational and um, 
personal development speakers. These are all great resources for you as well. So um, get connected to those. Success Magazine is also a great resource. Um, there's another magazine that I had, Forbes, Forbes Women, just can't remember the name. When I remember, I'll post the link. But these are all great resources for you as well. So I encourage you not just to get connected with our specific business, but connect it, get connected with other businesses. Because a lot of times they'll, they'll look at things in a way that's different and sort of broaden your horizons and get you thinking outside of the box. Because business is business at the end of the, of the day. So you, by getting plugged in with business as a whole, you'll also grow as a business person, as a leader, and you'll also find increased success by learning those things too. So when you when I say get plugged in, not just with other Avon reps, with other people in business too. That's also a part of your networking. Um, the resources you gather from working with other people will really help you in your business. Um, I We just had a new rep join our team. We were friends from way before we were in different companies, different businesses, different fields, and we connected, and I'm not going to shout her out, but um, <laughs> we connected, we became friends, and even though we were in different companies, we ended up working together now, and it's exciting because we learned from each other then, and now we get to work together. So it's a, an exciting new prospect, but um, that wouldn't have come if we weren't um, sharing ideas and learning from each other from before. So um, take advantage of all of your resources, even the resources outside of the company. And lastly, while we're running out of time, um, keep going back. When, as an architect, we have, sorry, as a, yeah, I'm not, I'm not an architect yet myself, but when I become an architect, I will have to go back and do, um, what do they call continuing education courses. A lot of professions, teachers, um, people in different fields are constantly doing continuing ed. So for yourself, just put it in your mind that you should also be working on continuing ed um, by reading different articles in the business world and watching the videos and the trainings from other representatives, um, the materials that Avon is putting out there because those are things that are going to help you to build and grow your business and increase your skills. So every week you should be doing something. You always hear us talking about our personal development, whether it's a power hour or it's um, 15 minutes on the way to work, whatever it is, put the time in and make it a part of your schedule, like having breakfast or going to the gym. Make it a part of your schedule to do some personal development for yourself because by doing it consistently and making it a habit, you'll um, you'll be able to reap the rewards better. And I'm not saying that you have to spend an entire day just doing personal development, but spend some time throughout your week. Make it a habit that you're watching and reading and just building yourself as a human being because at the end of the day, these are things that are going to benefit you in your life outside of business as well. But just set it as a part of your calendar to to do that personal development training every week or, um, you know, just daily. Um, I encourage you to do it daily. If once a week works for you, that's fine, just as long as you're doing it. And then taking the information that you've gathered and applying it as you go about your day. Don't just read it and leave it. Apply it. <laughs> because, again, that reinforces what you've learned so that you could become better at it. So um, those are some of the, the tips that I wanted to share with you. But you can see it's a basic idea of just re-educating yourself in things and making yourself open to learning different information because that's where the growth happens. It's not just from um, pounding away at something. A lot of times the growth comes from developing yourself as a person so that you could be in a position to um, reap the rewards of your personal growth and development. We There's a saying that says there's no such thing as luck. It's a combination. Sorry for the noise outside. It's a combination. It's a combination of um, opportunity and being ready for these chance encounters. So by preparing yourself ahead of time, you'll be ready for um, whatever may come your way to be able to take advantage of the opportunities that are available to you. And as you put yourself out there, you will start to see a lot of things coming your way. Um, events, 
programs in your neighborhood um, people who are customers because when you create a when you create a, um, a an atmosphere that's positive and when you create a, a, a mindset that you are a leader and that you have something to offer your community and that you're knowledgeable people will come to you for information and people will have no problem referring you to a friend or family member because they know that you're a great resource so i hope these are tips that sort of help you and even if you're again an, an older sorry i hate that old rep because <laughs> we're getting to be old reps here myself but um even if you're a seasoned representative keep going back and getting plugged in and take the time to look at things with fresh eyes and um re read reevaluate the things that have been a while, around for a while because then you will also grow yourself so i hope you guys find this helpful that's going to be a wrap for this evening but um check back with us next week tuesday 8 p.m same time same place um and i will be posting this video to my wall i saw that there were some technical difficulties online facebook doesn't like me today but um you can check out this video it'll be reposted to youtube on my youtube channel youtube.com forward slash c for channel forward slash georgiana h um, and I will post the link here so you can watch as well. So looking forward to hearing more wins for the week and seeing you guys celebrate your successes in the upcoming weeks and months of 2017. We are still quite a way away. We haven't reached the halfway mark for President's Club, so it's not too late for you to get on the bandwagon and, tr and track for the President's Club program. Set your sales goals and go for it. I believe that you guys could do it. And um, I hope to see you guys there at the President's Recognition Program celebrations next year. Bye. <laughs>